The Battle of Zama, known as General Hannibal's greatest defeat, took place more than 2,000 years ago and is widely considered to be one of the great battles that changed the course of history. It saw Hannibal's downfall, the decline of the Carthaginian Empire and the further rise of Rome. I'm Dave. And I'm Josh of Nerd and Dragon. And in this episode of our Battles That Changed the World series, we take a look at the Battle of Zama. The Battle of Zama in 202 BC decided once and for all the fates of two of the world's greatest powers, Rome and Carthage. Zama was the final conflict in the Second Punic War. The war began when Hannibal attacked one of Rome's allies in Spain, Saguntum. Hannibal continued this attack with victories over the Roman armies in northern Italy and it seemed that the Carthaginians would be unstoppable. This was until Scipio Africanus took command of Roman forces. Scipio drew Hannibal away from Italy to North Africa by threatening the city of Carthage. In the ensuing battle at Zama, Scipio used one of Hannibal's own tactics against him to gain victory. At Cannae, Hannibal had led the Roman army into a trap, killing more than half of an 80,000 strong force and wounding many more. At Zama, Hannibal lined up for battle in his usual formation, elephant corps at the front, followed by a line of mercenaries, a line of allied troops, and a line of Carthaginian veterans, with his cavalry positioned on the wings. Scipio, at first glance, appeared to have mirrored Hannibal's battle formation, minus the elephants, but instead of having continuous unbroken lines of troops, he set his soldiers in columns, the gaps between these columns being masked by light infantry at the front to give the impression to Hannibal and co that they have formed the same way. When the battle started, Hannibal sent his elephant corpse forward as first as usual, to trample, terrify and disorient his enemies. But Scipio's light infantry moved aside creating gaps and other soldiers banged drums, played instruments, shouted and yelled. Some elephants passed through the Romans harmlessly whilst others got frightened, turned and trampled Hannibal's own army. Scipio then sent the Roman cavalry forward and they attacked their opposition cavalrymen, forcing them from the field and behind the Carthaginian lines. The Roman army, which had now formed line, advanced on Hannibal's lines, forcing them backwards into their rear lines. The Roman army had now enveloped the Carthaginian troops with cavalry, attacking from the rear and infantry attacking at the front. Hannibal's forces were put to the slaughter, with more than 20,000 slain and countless more injured. Hannibal escaped the carnage of the battlefield, returning to Carthage, where he informed the Senate that not only was the battle lost, but so was the war, and they should sue for peace. Scipio pardoned Hannibal and made him chief magistrate of Carthage. However, unfortunately for Hannibal, he was soon denounced by his people and forced to flee in exile, else be turned over to the Romans. He first fled to Tyre, then to Bithynia, where he took his own life. The Battle of Zama not only ended the Second Punic War, but also ended the Carthage threat to Rome and established the Roman army as the greatest fighting force on earth since the army of Alexander the Great. It was the beginning of the Roman campaign of conquest that would lead to the Roman Empire. Josh here. This was an interesting one to research and make. We hope you enjoyed it. Next up in our series of battles that changed the world is the Battle of Tours. Let us know if there are any battles that you want to see examined. If you could take the time to like the video and subscribe to us, we would really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching.